Hi everyone, I'm back again. Uh, I've gotten some additional questions from some more folks who have some trouble with um, trying to figure out how you actually get your environment set up into a place where you can actually start to run these scripts. So I figured that I would go through and make another video for you today just to sort of talk you through how you might actually set up uh, all the different wiring in place in order to get your yourself in a place where you can run these python scripts and have it upload data into your google spreadsheet so uh, i've created a sticky here with all the different steps we'll have to go through there's quite a bit um so we'll just start from the top so First of all, we're just going to assume you're starting out from net new. The first step, of course, is to copy the spreadsheet so you have something to work off of. Uh, I'm going to move this here on this side so we have that as a reference. So this is uh, the latest post that I did. Um, I have a link to copy. Uh, this is, I believe, the overview sheet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a copy just for demo purposes. And we'll use this uh, to do the demo just uh, to set this all up so I don't mess up my actual sheet. So we're going to rename this my demo sheet. Uh, so we'll leave this actually. So one thing I'll do just while I'm in here is just to demonstrate that it worked, I'm going to go ahead and clear out all the data in my income sheet so that that is obvious. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set my to pull. Actually, we'll leave this as is. Actually, we'll take out We'll take out industry um so okay so we'll pull these so we have done this we have copied the spreadsheet the next step then is to clone the repo so all of the scripts that i have uploaded i've uploaded onto my github account so um now we'll actually want to pull this code from github down onto my local computer so that i can actually go ahead and run it so the way you typically do this is you will git clone this command uh this particular location this is the git repository so i'll go ahead and copy that and then i'll go ahead and run it which will download all this code onto my local computer so if i now move into my stocks repo you'll see that if i ls i can see that i've got all of these different files now in my local computer um i was trying to run this if i'm not quite sure if max by default have git installed if that doesn't work for you for some reason you don't necessarily need Git. you can also just download zip uh, manually via the gui um, and so you can download zip it'll go ahead and sure we'll allow that um i think i actually i don't think i can show it actually so actually yeah basically you'll download it and uh you can then just access the files from there if that doesn't work for you so Anyway, I have now cloned my repo, so we are now done with the second step. And now we're at the point where we want to make sure, so if I now open up my, okay, we don't want that. If we then open up my, my uh, file, um, let's, so we want to look at the overview data file because that's the script that will run to update our overview data sheet. Um, so if I open this up, um, I guess you'll want to make sure you have a text editor, I suppose, in place if you don't have one already. I personally use Sublime Text. Why is this not opening? D -d no, this one. Oh, it's because it showed up here. So, okay, um, I now have my overview data open and I have this open just to sort of demonstrate for you. You shouldn't need to make any changes to the script itself, but um, just to show you that we, I'm using a couple of different Python libraries in order to do specific bits of functionality. And I'm guessing um, if you're starting net new, you likely potentially don't have these installed. So one thing you'll want to make sure you do is install all of the different modules here. So you basically want to install everything from this DF2G spread uh, module all the way to date time. Configs is, um, this is not a module, this is a Python file uh, that I have in my uh, directory that is where I store all of my, my keys and, and spreadsheet keys and stuff like that. So anyway, from everything here on up, these are the ones you'll want to install. And the way you do that is, I believe typically they say you just say pip install 
the module, so in this case, DF2G spread. For some reason, it doesn't work for mine when I use it, so I do PIP3 and it seems to work. Um, so when I run it, I believe nothing's going to happen, really, because... Oh wait, oh, because I spelled it wrong. Okay, so pip3 install df2g spread. So nothing will probably happen because I already have the files. So, um, but basically you'll run that and it'll basically, it should download and uh, install that Python library for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this just for completeness sake. Although in my case, it's basically not really doing anything. So uh, here, I'll clear that again. So it's clean and then we'll want to, we uh, install the next one, which would be pip install oauth to client. So that is already satisfied. And then pip three install g spread, which has a whole bunch, which uh, once again is already there. Pip three install requests. Request is the library that we use to actually um, create uh, your, uh, actually to actually make requests and get the response back. So um, I now have that, P pip3 install pandas. So pandas is a library that I use to actually create the tables um, that we then upload to G uh, Google Sheets. Clear, so what do we have left? Okay, last one, date three or pip3 install date time. And date time is what we use just to get the date and time so we can uh, include that information when we go ahead and upload it. So cool. Okay, so I've done all of those different steps. I have now installed all of my modules. So that looks good. Uh, but that is not enough because now our local environment set up, but we need to make sure that we have a way for Google Sheets to know that we are authorized to actually upload this information to our Google Sheets. So as you can see, uh, in my script, I assume that there is a JSON file here that has the set of credentials that I need in order to, um, in case, uh, what's the word, to make sure that I have the um, credentials that are there so I can actually upload. So anyway, to get that, I have, I was following this, I believe I was following this particular tutorial um, to figure out how to do that. So basically I'll just start and go to the Google APIs console. And that will lead you to, I guess this is also assuming you have a Gmail account, which I assume you do since you're using Google Sheets. Um, I already have a project set up, but I'll create a new one for the sake of this demo. So uh, we'll just call this demo, very creative. And now that I have my demo, what I need to do now is enable APIs and services. What I wanna do is go to Google Sheets API and I will say, oh, I think it says manage in my case because it, oh wait, no, I'm in the wrong, this is not in the right project. So, okay, I'm back in my demo project. This is not enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. And da, 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 after we do that, I believe the instruction is, so we've created a new project. We clicked enable uh, API, and now we'll want to create credentials for a web server. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay, so now I have this enabled. I want to create credentials. And so now I, what API are you using? I want the Google Sheets API. Where are you calling it from? I'm calling it from uh, the terminal. So I'll say CLI tool and I want application data. So I'll click that. And then I think this, you can just put whatever. So I'll just say demo again. And the role that you want is you want to be an editor. So after that, I want JSON, a JSON file. I'll press continue. And this has automatically, I believe, downloaded a sheet called demo blah, 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 dot JSON to my computer. So I'm gonna close that. And so it is now here. What I'll now want to do is make sure, so I, created the credentials. Now I need to make sure it's in the right uh, location and called the right thing so that my script knows where to find it. So I'm gonna go ahead to my downloads and I'm gonna go ahead. So this is the one that was downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and move that to my desktop and move it to the right folder that I was in. So this is the one that, yeah, I just cloned uh, in my 
in my sheet, I assume that, that this JSON file is called Google Sheets Secret. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename it that, Google Sheets Secret. Okay, so my credentials are in the right place and that looks good. So I'm gonna cross that out. Um, but up above, what's next? Okay, so next you'll want to add yourself to your sheet because it's not enough. So in addition to having the credentials, you also need to make sure that your your service user, so your um, the the account that you created to do the upload, is approved to actually access this sheet. So how you'll do that is actually if I go back here to uh, where I got my um, service information, I have this service account that has an email. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna go ahead and share that with myself. And I'm gonna go ahead and approve myself so I can, my service account can access this sheet. Um, if for whatever reason, somehow you lose the link to this, if you actually look at your, um, I guess, I'll, yeah, if you, if you actually go and look at your, uh, the JSON file that got created, um, I, yeah, so let's just, let's just look at that now. Cat, uh, what's it called? Google Sheets Secret. If I look at that, you can actually also grab that email from this itself. Um, so yeah, just FYI, uh, in case you for a reason have a hard time finding this page again. So anyway, I've updated, I've added myself to my sheet that is now done. And the last thing you need to do before you, you can run this is you will want to go ahead and update your config file so that, um, one, you can add, so one thing I guess that you want to flag is assuming that you're using the same API service that I am you'll need to make sure that you include your API key. Uh, so usually, I guess if you have an account um, at some point, they will show you your API key here. And basically the, that API key is there so that uh, you can, uh, so the, this financial modeling prep service knows who you are when you're making requests. So you'll want to go ahead and copy. So once you create an account, you get an API key. You want to go ahead and uh, create a uh, copy of the API key here and then plug that into the file that we're just about to touch. So anyway, we're going back to Sublime Text. We are going to open up, uh, da -da -da -da. actually in case that was actually, yeah. So. We're gonna open up, what file, uh, configs.py. So as I mentioned, this is basically where I include my API key and all of my like Google spreadsheet keys and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my API key offline without showing it here, because obviously that is a bit sensitive. You'll wanna make sure you add it for your own. Um, but in the meantime, I guess I can show this. Um, you also want to add the Google spreadsheet key so that the script knows what how to identify your spreadsheet. So the way you can get that is basically it's everything from this after this D slash all the way up until the next slash. So it's all of this. Good. Actually, I don't want the last part. So there I go ahead and copy that and I go back to my sublime text and I paste that here. Okay, so if you're also using the other spreadsheet, the company spreadsheet, you'll also want to make a copy of that and make sure you include it here for this purpose. Since we're not working on that, I'm going to skip it. Um, so we'll go go ahead and want to save that. Uh, so I just controlled saved and I'm gonna go ahead and add my API key offline and, and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I've gone ahead and updated my API key into my configs.py file offline. And okay, so we are gonna assume we are done with this step. We have updated our, our config file. The last step uh, is basically just to run and, uh, and upload this thing. So um, just to confirm, I'm pulling data for these couple of tickers and all of the different ETFs for my overview sheet. And so the way we'll run it, as I mentioned in my last video is, Python 3 overview data.py. So it's gonna go ahead and, yep, as you can see, it looks like it uh, connected to the spreadsheet, was able to pull it, and now it's pulling the right um, data files from there. So we're gonna wait for that to run. And uh, so it's running now, and then we'll see how it uploads. 
da, 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 da. Um, cool. Let me think. Is there anything else I can tell you while we are waiting for this to, to load? Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I guess there is another. So the setup that we have right now will make it such that all the data will now populate into the right places. Um, there is this other last step of actually figuring out how. So I will say I will point out that there is um, this. So, yeah, the script that we're running, as I mentioned, will get all the data into your sheets themselves. But if you want to actually use the different uh, Google app scripts that I've set up, there is some additional finagling you'll have will have to do for that. I did not prep that as of yet, so I need to walk through that again. Um, but uh, that is probably another step we might want to walk through on some other day, um, because for on one hand, uh, you'll want the script so that you can convert these numbers properly. Um, You'll see what I mean, I guess, when when this populates. So yeah, as you can see, it's it's filling in slowly. Um, but as you can see, like the numbers are kind of gar garbled because uh, so it this is a bit of a complication. But one thing that you will see once this uploads is that the numbers, the way the script is currently set up right now, there's a bit of a bug in it where as I think I mentioned this in the last video, but um, cool. So it uploaded. So it looks like it worked. Um, as you can see, the way it uploads, it doesn't upload as an clean number it uploads as like this weird string and so i currently have to run a separate script in order to fix it so to make it back into a number so that on my spreadsheet i can actually properly format these things so i have a separate script that i use to run it i'm gonna guess if i click on it it doesn't do anything yeah so uh so yeah we'll ha we'll do a separate follow-up video just to talk about how you want to set that up so that you can get um those particular bits running but for now okay cool so it is now successfully run and uploaded. So yeah, I guess as far as our original plan of you know trying to figure out how we actually get everything set up and started, we have accomplished that today. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. And uh, yeah, I guess I will probably at some point do a follow-up video just to talk about the scripts that we'll need to set up. So the major one is this converting floats script and function. And then I've got a couple other like small ones that help like submit stuff and stuff like that. So we'll talk about that another day. But yeah, for now, I hope that was helpful. And yeah, have a good one.